Shu, last time I saw you, we were in the Chinese markets in Malaysia. It's now the seventh Grand Prix in Canada. How's the season been so far? Well, obviously the season starts really well, uh, as we spoke about in Malaysia. But um, then uh, there was the races has been a bit more difficult after after China, um, in Bahrain and, uh, and 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 Barcelona. I had some some issue in the race, and again in Monaco it was a bit bit more difficult again because I had um, an issue in qualifying, so I could not run there and uh, and some some problems to start the engine in uh, in the race. Yeah, with that, that wasn't so good watching you being pushed into the pit lane. Yeah, I've been pushed into the pit lane, so it was not really, not really nice for the last three races, let's, let's say. So now we're in Canada and we're up for, for a good race. It's funny being in Canada, isn't it? Everyone's speaking French. I'm not really sure to start speaking in French or in English. Do you feel nice and relaxed here? Yeah, I feel really relaxed, you know, and all the time I go to speak with someone, I just speak in French. And um, I don't know what to expect if they will answer in English or, or whatever, but for the moment it's... It's really simple for me because everybody speaks French, so... Oh, sorry, I'm making you speak English today. But we, can, we can speak a little bit of uh, Francais, if you want. Yeah, if you want, <laughs> we can do that. So we're going through the, the French part of Montreal in a horse and carriage, as you do. So a little bit different to horsepower as you know it. Yeah, a bit less horsepower as <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm used to, but for sure it's, uh, it's a nice place. Uh, I really like, like this city, so I'm really happy to be here. And so tell me what it's like being an F1 driver, because you'd only done one race when we chatted before. Are you getting used to it on your passport? Have you written F1 driver? Yeah, I'm getting used to being an F1 driver, and for sure it's a really pleasant, pleasant season for me. Uh, it's my first one in Formula 1, but I hope I will do more than that. And, uh, and for sure to be an F1 driver is just amazing, you know. And fitting in with a new team, how's it been with Marussia? Are you loving the team and the support you've got from them? Yeah, the, the team is really nice, really friendly. Um, we work really hard together and... Um, We're I coming to a stop, Jules. Yeah, we need to... We run out of petrol. <laughs> I don't think we <laughs> have to wait one behind, so... I can smell bad things as well. Never work with animals, I tell you, never work with animals. <laughs> That's really nice. Jules' friends are behind, can we see them? Yeah, they're a bit far. <laughs> They've got stuck between uh, a pink pony and some cars. Very dangerous, very dangerous. And you've got Max Chilton as well, nice young guy to have as a, a teammate. Yeah, he's really cool. Uh, I didn't know him well before the season because obviously we run in the same categories in GP2, but um, we were not teammates, so it's difficult to know each other when, you, when, you're, not, when you're not in the same team. And uh, we're going well, well together, so it's, uh, it's nice. Do you have banter and competition? You know, who's going to do better each weekend? Yeah, for sure. It's, you know, when you're in the team, um, you just race for the team. But you also race to do the, the, the best result as you can and, uh, and the first one you want to beat is your teammate for sure. So this weekend, have you got any strategies? You, have you set yourself any targets? I will just try to um, do the races as uh, I normally do, so the same approach. Uh, stay calm and, uh, and go step by step, try to push a bit more all the time in, uh, in through practice and then just trying to do the, the, best, the best result as we can in the race. But, um, I don't really have a target, you know, I just want to finish the race. Uh, again, here in Montreal, it's similar to Monaco, so uh, you, you have to finish the race and then you will maybe have the opportunity to do a good result. And lots of people say that really it's Marussia versus Caterham, always. But for you, you and your team, do you sort of try and think of the other teams as well? It's not just about Caterham, is it? It's not <laughs> just about Caterham, but for sure. Um, we are not for the moment in a pace to reach the other teams, you know, so we still need to focus on ourselves and, uh, and see where, where we are compared to the other competitors and for the moment the, the only one uh, we, are, we are really close is, is Caterham, so we have to, to focus on them as well and, uh, and try to beat them. And which track's been your favourite then? You mentioned some were a bit tricky, but in terms of the track themselves, what, which is your favourite? Uh, in all the season or just...? So far this season. Well. For sure, Monaco is the, the best one to drive. You know, in uh, in Formula One, you're going really quick into into the track, so it's it's just amazing to drive in Monaco close to the wall. Uh, you've got uh, a really special feeling there. You say close to the wall. That fills me with horror. Going close to the wall. What does it actually feel like being right there? So say we were right there now. How would you be feeling? Is your does your heart jump into your mouth? Uh, yeah, when you just reach the limit in a track like Monaco you just feel something special you know so when you reach the limit it means you are really close to the wall and um, 
without with a small mistake you will crash into the wall so that's that's why you are really excited about about racing in Monaco well we've got a massive wall in Canada on the uh, circuit Gilles Villeneuve the the wall of champions does that frighten you a tiny bit <laughs> well I, I hit it uh, quite a lot in in the simulator so oh. <laughs> so for sure it's um it's a tricky one but uh, we have to deal with that and uh, try to do the chicken as quick as we can with uh, uh, still thinking that you have a wall at the exit so you don't you don't have to finish in, in this one. So you've been practicing on the simulator then to make sure you are right on it for the for the circuit? Yeah of course we always practice in the simulator before it races so it's even more important when you don't know the track like it was my case well it is my case for for here in um, in, in Canada so we need to we need to keep um, improving in practice and, and be being ready in, uh, in the qualifying. So we're coming down, I think, into the main sort of French quarter. Now, you mentioned it's nice for you being able to speak French and not be panicked when you have to speak English or, you know, put on the spot. Is there anything you take with you, some French little goodies when you go around the world? Mm, no, not really. I don't have any. A little croissant? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything of that. So what do you do at breakfast? You just have, uh, are you having pancakes here in Canada? Are you having... Normally for breakfast, I'm not so difficult, so I just, um, I just have... Uh, what what does the hotel have in uh, in the in the breakfast? So uh, here, for example, this morning I had pen pancakes, so that that's really nice. I l I love that. Yum, and maple syrup as well. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> You're a true Canadian. Well, not really, but <laughs> I don't have the same accent. <laughs> hopefully, and, and uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, well, I've asked our viewers on YouTube to give me some challenges while we're in Montreal and try and find things, and people have asked me to try and find a beaver. Have you heard of a beaver? You know, the animal with the no, big teeth. Have you seen a beaver yet? No, not yet. I don't know where to go. There's forests, no dams. Apparently there's a beaver lake. I have no idea. You know? But if you see one, can you let me know? Yeah, I will, I will <laughs> call you and tell you. Hey, thank you. There we go. I've got a helper on Challenge Rosanna. It's ideal. Sure, I think we're coming to a stop now. Our little tour of Montreal, the French Court, has come to an end. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And bon chance this weekend. Merci. And remember, if you find a beaver, you yeah, know who to tell. You know. Okay, perfect. For more behind the scenes at Montreal and the Canada Grand Prix, subscribe to Pole Position.